Now, we come to the discussion of weak solution of the stochastic differential equation. Here, we again recall the stochastic differential equations under our consideration. So, here we take capital T positive, drift vector is this b as before a function of time and space and is a vector drift vector and then dispersion matrix is sigma that is also a function of time and space variable and that gives me a matrix a rectangular matrix d cross d prime okay. and these maps are Borel measurable in appropriate sense. Okay. So, Borel measure that means you take Borel sigma algebra here, you endow this also with Borel sigma algebra. So, inverse image of Borel sets under this map is also Borel set here. So, that is the meaning of uh, this. So, x, so, a weak solution to the stochastic differential equation d x t is equal to b of t x t d t plus sigma of t x t d w t okay. and initial condition x 0 is equal to z o z is a triplet this triplet. The first component is x comma w this pair, second is the probability space and third thing is the filtration. Okay. So, why are we doing this? Uh, thing is that for strong solution we were given a probability space and on that we were given a particular Brownian motion we were just required to check whether there exists any stochastic process on that same probability space such that that solves that is d, but here it is not the case. Here we are not specifying any probability space, we are not specifying any Brownian motion, we are just asking that is there any probability space omega f p and any filtration f t and any Brownian motion on that such that there exists some stochastic process x such that this is true. So, here the scope is quite broad. So, here it is very clear that a strong solution is also a weak solution because a strong solution everything is given. So, that means those are there. So, that means given that is the there is I mean one can get it. So, a strong solution is also weak solution. However, a weak solution need not be a strong solution. So, here if you want to understand the difference between the interpretation of weak and strong solution it is as follows that for weak solution we are just looking at the law of the process. So, what we have written is just the law. Okay. So, we are just specifying the law here Brownian motion's law is important. Okay. It is not that we have specified a particular Brownian motion. Okay. So, that a process x for which we are going to get this type of uh, relation with Brownian motion. However, so far strong solution is concerned there I mean you have a fixed Brownian motion and you are asking that okay, whether that equation is satisfied with that Brownian motion. Okay. So, strong solution is relevant for constructing a stochastic process okay, because that would give you a stochastic process on that probability space. Okay. So, the, the meaning is here written explicitly here omega f p is a probability space f t is a filtration of the sigma algebra f having its usual condition that means that this filtration is right continuous and complete and here this x is a continuous process which is adapted to this filtration and this w is a bound motion of dimension d prime this d prime and adapted to the filtration f t and also that when we have this x and w uh, together uh, this b s x uh, sigma square i j s x. Okay. So, this is a stochastic process and then if you integrate that from 0 to t with probability 1 this integration will be finite. Okay. So, this would be a finite valued random variable. Okay. I am not saying this is bounded random variable I am just saying finite random variable. Okay. And 
this x should be the solution of this is d on this thing okay so that is written here that x t solves this that if you integrate both sides okay so x t is equal to x 0 plus integration 0 to t b of s x s d s plus 0 to t integration sigma s x x d w s for all t 0 or more okay so this is true for all t okay pathwise okay so this is true with probability 1 okay almost it is outside okay so what does it mean that if this has a weak solution this thing then when you get the weak solution x and w it's a this triplet then by fixing this filtered probability space and this w x is a strong solution on that so remember earlier what did i tell a strong solution is also a weak solution however if you get a weak solution okay then from this weak solution uh, you would come up with probability space suitable probability space and browning motion and if you do that then on that x is a strong solution however uh, that does not necessarily prove that every weak solution is a strong solution i mean every sd which has a weak solution that has a strong solution no it does not why because here to get a strong solution does not matter what probability space you start with you are always assured to get one solution but here it is not the case if an sd has a weak solution then you come up with a particular choice of brown motion and filtered probability space and with this particular choice you would get a strong solution is it clear okay so this idea would be clearer with the following example okay so that, that is coming in the next slide okay so let us uh, talk about weakly uniqueness so this is a theorem actually so it is saying that if b and sigma the drift and dispersion matrices okay uh, these have lipschitz and growth property as earlier so then a solution does not matter whether it is weak or strong to the sd is weakly unique what does it mean that uh, that the solutions are identical in law or equivalently have same finite dimensional distribution. So, as you remember that when I have written that S D, I was talking that okay, if um, no probability space is given, then this uh, says only about its law because Brown emotions law is known. It is saying that small increment of x with respect to time t is same as this product of I mean b of this is the drift okay, coefficient b t x t times d t. So, this is like a speed, speed velocity kind plus I mean this coefficient multiplied with the change in Brownian motion small change in Brownian motion and small change of Brownian motion is known to us because this you know Brownian motions increments are normally distributed in mean 0 and variance of the time difference. So, here this precisely gives infinitesimal I mean, description of the law of the process x. Okay. So, what it says is that uh, does not matter what uh, setting we are fixing weak or strong solution, but so for if we have S D okay, and B and sigma are in that particular class okay, then S D admits you know uniquely you know weak solution okay, is weakly unique. Okay. So, here the proof goes. So, let x 1 w 1. So, this is a triplet, this is another triplet. So, assume that there are two different triplets for a given S d. Okay. So, both are weak solutions. What do we need to prove? We need to prove that x 1 and x 2 have the same law. Okay. So, here for our connotational convenience, we have fixed same omega, uh, same probability space both the a cases. So, they, let this be two <coughs> different weak solutions. Now, since this is a weak solution, so as I have mentioned earlier with this filtered probability space and this particular Brownian motion x 1 behaves as a strong solution there of that is d. Similarly, x 2 is also strong solution there. Now, okay, be two weak solutions and x 1 bar and x 2 bar be the strong solutions constructed from w 1 and w 2 respectively. Okay. 
with this w 1 and this omega f p and w 2 omega f p okay, these are two strong solutions we consider. Then using the strong uniqueness, okay, how can I assure the existence of strong solution because B and sigma satisfies the, the sufficient condition for existence of strong solution, what we have already seen earlier. So, then x 1 bar and x 2 bar we have obtained and now strong uniqueness we have seen also. So, this x i is same as x bar i that means x 1 is same as x 1 bar, x 2 is same as x 2 bar okay, with probability 1. So, almost surely they are equal. So, basically this justifies you know the comment I made that okay, this can be viewed as strong solution of the equation under this particular choice of filter probability space and the Brownian motion. Okay, next what we do is that we now concentrate on uh, these uh, strong solutions x bar 1 and x bar 2. We show that this x bar 1 and x bar 2 have identical laws. Why do we expect that? Because after all both are coming from the same equation, okay, uh, same as d, but with two different Brownian motions. Okay. But that needs a uh, I mean detailed proof that we are doing here, that is just you know what I have said is just is a intuition. So, recall the Picard iteration, okay, what we have constructed in previous theorem to prove existence and uniqueness of strong solution of S d. So, in the Picard equation we have constructed a sequence of processes y 1, y 2 etcetera. So, we recollect that thing. So, y 1 k, k is 1, 2, 3, 4 etcetera. So, this process converge, we have shown that this process would converge to uh, the strong solution. Okay. So, this would converge in probability. So, here we construct this y k be the iterations corresponding to x bar i and w i. So, we check successively now that uh, this y 1 k and this y 2 k. Okay. This y 1 k is equal to 1, 2, 3 etcetera are constructed using this w 1 and this is using w 2. However, w 1 w 2 has the same law. So, and this y 1 y 2 are constructed iteratively. So, the beginning the 0 step both are having the same law, first level also they would have the same law because equation is exactly the same only w 1 is replaced by w 2 here. So, both would have the same law for each and every k. So, this process has same law with this process. Whenever I say law I mean that uh, I mean they would have same finite dimensional distributions and same law okay, for all k. And we also have seen there that this y okay, this iterative processes converges to the strong solution in probability. Okay, so, in measure. So, measure is on time domain it is Leibniz measure, on omega domain it is probability measure. So, here this converges to x 1 bar, this converges to x 2 bar in probability and both are having the same law. So, x 1 bar x 2 bar the limits would also have the same law because convergence probability uh, preserve the convergence in law okay, is same as convergence in law. So, this uh, x 1 bar and x 2 bar would also have the same law. Okay. So, what is the end result therefore? That x 1 bar in x 2 bar has the same law and x 1 bar I mean they would have this identical laws okay. and uh, that implies that x 1 and x 2 would also have the same law. Okay, because uh, both are x 1 is equal to x 1 bar, x 2 is equal to x 2 bar. Okay. So, that establishes our anticipation that uh, two different weak solutions of same SD would have uh, same laws. Okay. Or in other words, that SD, if I write down without mentioning the probability space and uh, which particular Brownian motion, nothing, just the SD that uniquely uh, determines uh, a particular law of a stochastic process provided that equation has a weak solution. Okay. Now, we come back to the example what I have promised that I would discuss. So, this I am not giving the full details of this particular example because I am not giving full details of this particular example. 
because uh, here one has to show that for this example, uh, this SD does not admit strong solution in general. Okay. However, uh, that part we are not uh, presenting here, one can read the details from the book of Karadzesh and Shriv's book okay, in page number 301. So, this is the book what uh, I am referring you know, most of the time. So, it is there as a reference book uh, in the course details. So, this does not possess a strong solution, but has a weak solution. So, this is the thing we are going to show in details that it has a weak solution. So, the construction is as follows. So, when I say that this equation has a weak solution, I mean that uh, we would be able to come up with the triplet. So, consider any filter probability space omega f p, here f is a sigma algebra f and this bold f is filtration of the sigma algebra with a Brownian motion w tilde. So, here you may think that okay, why am I coming up with a fixing a probability space in the beginning because after all there is no such hope I have promised. A thing is that this is not the Brownian motion we would work with, we are just for the convenience of discussion we are starting with something, but we are going to change the Brownian motion. Okay. We are going to see actually this would not work here. Okay, we are going to see that. So, now with this w tilde we define a new process y t that is integration from 0 to t sin of w tilde s d w tilde s. So, that for all small t greater or equals to 0. Okay, so, this is a stochastic process we define as integration of this function of Brownian motion and with respect to Brownian motion. This integrand has modulus 1 all the time. Okay. When that thing happens, then that integral is also a Brownian motion. That one can get from the Levy's characterization of Brownian motion. One can find out the quadratic variation of y that turns out to be t and uh, that uniquely determines that okay, uh, that uh, y is also a Brownian motion. There is a characterization of Brownian motion. So, we would get y is also a Brownian motion. So, here we are writing this thing that since the square of integrand is 1, the integral is again a Brownian motion that is y is a Brownian motion. So, now what do we do that instead of this integral oh, way of writing we write down the differential manner. So, d y t is equal to sin w tilde t d w t. So, we write down here d y t is equal to d w t and sin w tilde t, but that we actually divide we can divide because it is non-zero anyway. So, one can say of course, uh, w tilde uh, when this is positive sin is 1, when it is negative sin is minus 1, but it is 0 sometimes. So, then sin of 0 is 0 correct. Uh, one can do that okay, that okay, this is uh, I mean one can actually when s is uh, this is 0, we can write down sin of 0 is equal to 1 okay, instead of uh, making it 0. Otherwise, anyway uh, that would I mean does not matter what I put value okay, because the time point when w tilde becomes 0 is of measure 0. So, on a measure 0 set of time uh, this becomes 0. So, it does not really matter what I define sin of 0. Okay. So, I can define sin of 0 is equal to 1 to prevent 1 over 0 here. So, 1 over sin w tilde t d y t is equal to d w t. Okay. So, this is written here. So, 1 over sin of a function is same as sin of that function. Okay. So, d w tilde t is equal to sin w tilde t d y t. Okay. It is written. Now, we recognize that here y is like matching with w and then w tilde appears both sides like x appears here. So, what does it mean? It means that with this particular filtered probability space, if I started with some Brownian motion and from there we have articulated one another Brownian motion y. So, if I take this Brownian motion on this filtered probability space, then this w tilde becomes solution of this equation. So, that proves that this equation has a weak solution. Okay. But this does not actually prove that it does not have a strong solution, it is a little rather long proof, uh, not very long actually, but uh, that one can find from this book. That proof relies on the fact that 
from here I mean that proof is by contradiction actually. So, if that exists one can uh, it has a strong solution then one can show that uh, the filtration generated by x is strictly larger than the filtration generated by w ok that is a contradiction, but we are not go, uh, giving the details here. So, we summarize that w tilde is a solution to uh, the equation this ok so, so we solution with the brown motion y ok. Now, we <coughs> define few more uh, definitions uh, notations for a particular theorem which we are going to see next whose proof we are also going to see today the definition. So, let sigma be a function of time and space and then sigma is a matrix a rectangular matrix d cross d prime and a is a sigma sigma star is a typo. So, time and this space to d cross d is a square matrix star stands, stands for transpose a i g t x is defined as sigma i k t x sigma i k t x ok k is running from 1 to d prime. So, this uh, is called uh, the diffusion matrix. So, this is called dispersion matrix, this is called diffusion matrix. Okay, let x and w, x comma w this pair be a weak solution to S d. So, sometimes we do th this way, okay. sometimes for S d we do not talk about the whole triplet because the filtered probability space also we should come up with okay, and that uh, should also be mentioned, but for repeated I mean for uh, for avoiding repeated mentioning of the filtered probability space we omit that ok. Although we omit that, but we always remember that that is also hidden here ok that we just write down that just the pair for the solution and the Brownian motion. So, when I say Brownian motion that means that uh, uh, this Brownian motion with the filtered probability space together ok. So, that is like you know hidden thing, but we always should actually remember that is there. So, let x comma w be a weak solution to S d for every small t in 0 to capital T, we introduce the second order differential operator a t f x is half of uh, this uh, so double summation over i and j a i j del 2 f del x i del x j this is a second order partial derivative of f. So, for every f which is continuous to twice differentiable we can define this operator and it also has b i del f del x i ok i is going to be. basically this is a dot product ok and uh, here you can also write down this in terms of gradients ok, but here I have not used that vector notation writing this way ok. So, here if f is a function of t and a x ok a real valued ok, then here f is only function of x here I have f is a function of time and space. Then if I write down a t f t x I mean the following I mean that f of t dot that means as a function of this function of x variable. So, a t is acting on that function and then what the for new function we are going to get we evaluate that at x ok that is the convention of notation we are going to follow. So, now uh, we are going to state a theorem and uh, that result clarifies that there is a connection between this differential operator a t and the stochastic differential equation the, the, the S d or I should say the solution of the S d ok. I mean that connection would be built and uh, due to that connection we are going to say that ok a t is associated with this S d ok. So, actually if these variables are not t dependent like t independent ok. So, we get uh, S d as time homogeneous uh, diffusion and for time homogeneous diffusion this a also you know time independent then that a is um, actually called generator of the diffusion which is solving that S d ok. So, these are just term that either you say associated or you say the generator ok. So, the, the result starts here if f is a continuous function on 0 to capital T and R n and it is twice continuous differentiable with the space variable and once continuous differentiable with the time variable ok. Then with this f I define another process m superscript f this is just a notation 
which is defined as this process evaluated time t is f of t comma x t minus f of 0 comma x 0 minus integration 0 to t del f del t plus a s f evaluated at s comma x s d s. Here I must uh, explain what does it mean. This uh, is partial derivative of f with respect to the first variable. Okay. But that would give you me a function that function should be evaluated at s comma x s not at t comma something. Okay. So, this t stands for the partial derivative with respect to the time variable the first variable okay. is not a function of t. Okay. Here of course, we get a function of t and x t. So, this thing is a function of s and x s and then you integrate this function over the interval 0 to t with respect to d s okay, with respect to s variable. Okay. So, you get one stochastic process here because as you change time it is changing the randomness is already here, here. So, you get a random process. So, you get a stochastic process okay. and filtration it is adapted etcetera is very clear because uh, x is adapted. So, you are going to get adaptability here. So, MFT would be a stochastic process, but this proposition says that due to our very specific choice of A, this MFT becomes a continuous local martingale. What does it mean? This, this is uh, very interesting. I mean, if I would have chosen any arbitrary operator A or anything, okay, I would have got some kind of stochastic processes of course, but that might not become a martingale, correct? So, Martin, local martingale means what? I mean, so, for the timing let us uh, just think that okay, f is like you know very nice, so that is a martingale. Okay. So, what is a martingale? Martingale means that uh, on an average it is not moving. So, conditional expectation of uh, mt given the information till time 0 to uh, till time s is same as the position of the process at time s. Okay. So, on an average in future if you to find out the expectation it is the present location. X t is a stochastic process it has its drift it has its motion and f is any arbitrary you know smooth function. So, you would get some stochastic process here, but this subtraction nullifies its dynamics and leaves only a martingale which on an average does not move. So, what does it mean? That means that this operator somehow captures the dynamics of the process x. Okay. So, that is the understanding for which we call this is associated with the process x. And that is not surprising because this process A is after all defined using the parameter which arises in the SD of uh, the process x. Okay but appropriately chosen and appropriately combined to get it. The proof is actually very simple. The result is striking, I mean very interesting, but the proof is very simple. So, for a similar uh, kind of g like similar uh, smooth these things, we would also be able to say that okay, m g t is also like one can define that would also be m c loc and then two different continuous local martingales quadratic variation I can uh, find out and here this quadratic variation one can find out the formula exact formula also the formula turns out to be a i j s x x del del x i f s x s and del del x j g s x s. Okay because f is a function of time and x okay so but here it is multivariable okay so in that multivariables you take partial derivative with respect to the ith coordinate you get another function which is also a function of time and uh, multivariable rd and in that function you evaluate at s axis okay so that is the meaning of this notation uh, similar meaning of this was also there so then this um, okay so this integration uh, would be the quadratic covariation of mf and mg this is quadratic covariation. In addition, if f has compact support, okay, so like uh, not on full R n, but on a compact set, it is non zero, else it is zero. And uh, on that set where f is non zero, there sigma i j is a bounded function. Uh, in that case, 
yes sigma ij if I consider that is continuous function uh, continuous process then uh, of course, but uh, otherwise uh, that is not assured. So, sigma ij is bounded then this process m f is uh, square integral continuous martingale ok. We, I mean not only local martingale it is a martingale it is square integral martingale ok. So, these are the things. So, for this proof we are going to use Ito's formula ok. So, here actually you can understand that if I directly use Ito's formula of f here. So, what are you going to get? f of a, a t x t uh, minus f 0 x 0 is equal to the partial derivative of f with respect to time t and d t that anyway appears here del f del t this thing. And then partial derivative of f with respect to the space variables that is actually a gradient vector with a dot product with the I mean the Brownian motion ok. And then the remaining terms like you know, second order the quadratic variation term the half times double derivative of f etcetera all these things would appear. So, those things if you compute those things would actually appear here. So, by applying Ito's lemma it uh, is very clear what should be the expression of, of MFT ok. I know what is the expression of MFT. So, that we are going to look at here ok, but that expression of MFT is integration with this Brownian motion. I just need to show that uh, integration is continuous local martingale. We know that to show a stochastic integral as a continuous local martingale, I just need to see that integrand is well behaved ok. Our integrand is in the class of you know uh, L star of uh, W. So, it is uh, predictable and then this is square integrable etcetera. So, those are the things only we need to check ok. So, here we come here ok note that the following proof works even so here instead of 0 to capital T we take 0 to infinity ok. So, the so this thing uh, whole uh, time ok whole time. So, from the property 3 of weak solution what is the property 3? The property 3 is talking about uh, this is the property uh, 3 of weak solution that uh, mod b i plus sigma square i j if you integrate on 0 to capital T you get a random variable that random variable is finite value with probability 1 ok. So, for every t it is a finite value random variable ok. So, now if I ask that ok the first time uh, this becomes large say larger than small or you know, something we are going to get some time and that time should increase as it is n goes to infinity otherwise you would uh, not get it. So, this is the part what I am going to explain now. So, consider sigma square i j s x s d s integration 0 to t is greater or equals to n. So, for the first time the time when this integral becomes more than n. So, this time is of course, a random time because it depends on the random process x. Also mod of norm of x is more than equals to n ok. If either of these happens ok for the first time we get s n and then we write n plus 1 and for n plus 1 we check when either of this happens ok for a is when n plus 1 and we get s 1, s 2, s 3, s n plus 1 etcetera some sequence of stopping times ok. But this sequence increases to infinity as n tends, tends to infinity ok. So, why is it so? Because if it is not if it does not grow to infinity that means, if this sequence increasing sequence has some upper bound ok and uh, that upper bound is a finite time. So, on that finite time if the integration would be infinity then because it is more than all possible n correct. So, we are going to get a contradiction. So, this kind of so it will, if it does not go to infinity that time would appear and this is infinity, but we have seen that uh, from the definition that that would happen only with probability 0. So, that means only with probability 0 S n might not go to infinity or in other words it increases infinity as it is infinity almost surely ok with probability 1.
So, from the Ito's rule, okay, so as I have uh, explained the Ito's rule if you do that, okay. So, here instead of uh, 0 to t, we write down t minimum s k, okay. So, here we are you know, doing this localization, okay. So, minimum of t and s k. What is the good part of this? The good part of this is the when s is between 0 to uh, this interval. Uh, then x uh, norm of x is less than less than n and because of this thing uh, less than k actually because sk is there less than k and here this integration i mean this whole thing okay f is anyway continuous continuous on the domain and here x is between this 0 to n okay so, so i mean norm mod of x so that means we are talking about the domain bounded domain. So, that we can take closure of that. So, ball of radius k on the ball of radius k. So, this continuous function would be bounded. So, this part would be bounded. On the other hand here for this part we have already obtained this. So, the sigma square of d s which we might get using that uh, after using it isometry that this thing we square of that norm. So, that would be also less than n. Okay. So, here for this integration we know that we are going to get this is a martingale. Okay. So, it is a continuous martingale because this integrand is bounded here I mean this integration I mean and because this is square integrable and this is bounded here and uh, as a function of t it is a martingale for each and every k. So, what we have done? We have obtained a increasing sequence of stopping time such that the stopped process is martingale for each and every k or in other words we have proved that mft okay mft is a uh, local martingale okay so this part is written here uh, elaborately that uh, ball of radius k i should write because k is here correct ball of radius k okay so n i should have written k okay so there it should be bounded Okay, so, that clarifies that m f is a continuous local martingale. Okay. Now, from here to here is actually trivial is just a formula you do not need any other argument for this because for quadratic variation you know that uh, already this uh, it has this expression the sigma del f del x dw and you take uh, quadratic variation. So, it is a uh, you multiply m f and m g and quadratic covariation is the natural increasing process appears in the Dubmere decomposition of the product of the process m f m g and there if you do that product you are going to get exactly uh, this term del f del x i del g del x j. Okay. So, there you are going to get. Okay. Of course, you have to take actually you know dot product there. Okay. So, this you are going to get and then third condition is uh, trivial because here whatever we had to worry about we do not need to worry there because um, the support of f their sigma j is bounded already and f has compact support. So, you would uh, you do not need to construct the sequence s 1 s 2 s k there without doing that you would be able to get that this would itself be a martingale okay, square integral conscious martingale. So, this third property also follows for that. Okay. Thank you very much.